Hey guys, this is part two of my empties video. Um, I'll go ahead, I'm in my bathing suit, so sorry, and show you. Go watch the video on all of those empties right there. And yeah, this is just going to be five things of makeup. I felt like I needed to record a part two because I wanted to make sure it uploaded to YouTube and wasn't too long or whatever because I can't edit or anything because... I'm on my iPhone. But anyways, I just have a few makeup products here. I have a Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. This is my second one going through. Third, second or third one going through. I really like this. By the end of it though, I was ready to finish it up because I like to use different products or whatnot. And there's still just a teensy bit left. But I feel like it was heavy or really cakey. But, um, yeah, so I finished that up. I would repurchase it in the future. Just I want to use some other foundations that I have. or And I have um, my... Uh, I, uh, sorry about that. I ordered a MAC foundation. And it should be coming tomorrow. I hope it's the right color. Yeah, so I'm excited to use that. Then I have another foundation. This is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi. I'm an oily skin girl. This isn't the best for oily skin, but I love the finish. Actually, this one was really light. It's in like porcelain or something like that. Warm porcelain light ivy. And um, I think it was too light. I actually like to go with... Uh, a skin a, little, a color darker for my skin and I'll blend it on my neck because I feel like when I do match my skin when it's like really fair it doesn't lay right on the skin well I don't know maybe I'm weird but I feel like if I do a darker foundation it lays better on the skin or maybe it's just the texture of this one and the L'Oreal uh, it is by L'Oreal the other foundation that I don't it doesn't look right on my pores what is it L'Oreal uh, true match. L'Oreal, just the L'Oreal true match. It doesn't lay right on my skin. And I know a lot of people like that foundation. But I mixed this one with other foundations and I loved how it gave like a glow to it. It was really pretty, but not the best for oily skin girls. Okay, I have a CoverGirl powder in True Blend. I think this was couponed or on sale. Like, uh, 50 or 75 percent off sale maybe they were discontinuing this color I'm not sure but I finished this powder up I liked it and this one's in four translucent medium that's what the packaging looks like then I have this which it wasn't it's cracked now if you could see it's by physicians formula it's a happy booster bronzer Glow and Mood, I'm sorry, not a bronzer. Glow and Mood Boosting Powder in Beige. My mom actually bought this and gave it to me. And it had the hearts all over it. But I dropped it and it cracked. And I had a pretty big dent in it though. These powders have a smell to them. And they're really like illuminating. And I want to get it again because I really enjoyed this powder. I just thought I should mention it to you. Because it wasn't all the way done. But... You know how you use something so much and then it doesn't really pick up a lot of product eventually? Well, that's what it was starting to do, but it eventually just broke, so now I'm just going to throw it away. But I really do love this powder as a powder. Then I have the next Jumbo Eyeshadow, Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. Used that bad boy up. I love this. I actually got a Jordana... Um, pencil like this and it's in almond something I love that one that one sets and it's not going to go anywhere I like it better than the NYX one actually better <clears throat> but it's not a white it's a cream one and then I have my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion it's the mini one that came with the um, Urban, Decay, Urban Decay Naked palette I finished this up a while ago but this was a couple years old. Thank goodness it's done because I don't know if that would be good to put on your eyeball. But anyways, I really do like this uh, 
eyeshadow primer it's really good it's just overpriced or expensive I can't afford that right now so I will just stick with my Jordana jumbo pencil that works awesome so uh, yeah that is all of my empties I had some makeup go watch video uh, the empties part one I have a bunch of like bath and deodorant and body wash and lotion and all kinds of stuff so go watch the first one um thank you so much for watching bye